Hey everyone, welcome to today's trade breakdowns. Uh, 15th of December 2023. We took two trades in today's London stream. Um, first one, we or oh, I got um, it moved around 10 15 pips, closed most of it, and then move stops to break even pre um, PMI news that came out. And then the, the Narana got this dust tapped out, which is a bit annoying. Um, then set, gave, it, gave the trade a second chance after the 8 30 PMI German news came out. And then that was a slow grind, but that one ran for 40 pips afterwards. So let's have a little look at these two. Um, this was the lay of the land. Um, I wanted to be in this trade earlier once price was breaking up over here, um, but this was the Frankfurt open candle. And, but as I was pushing up, um, it was just, I didn't want to enter pre-London. And I thought, well, you know, there's a good chance that London come, comes down and I would have been willing to execute into a trade if it spiked down this low and then started pushing. That would have given me a great opportunity. Why I like this area is if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that we're uh, closing above this resistance and this Asian high establishing ourselves, a little tiny retest, clean candles to the left. So that's why I wanted my target was to fill all these clean candles back up to the top over here. So what I was looking for initially, I'll go through the three minute chart. Excuse me. Um, and we had PMI at um, 8.15, 8.30, So real mess. So this is the Forex factory. You can see this list over here. This is the um, the list of, of PMI. So it was all scattered about. Um, fundamentally, bad, not bad news was going to be good news for uh, for German 40. So I was really hoping not to get mixed data just to get bad numbers. Cause that would, that would um, essentially like, cause Christine Lagarde came out on Thursday after the ECB press conference and it was quite hawkish actually. So that led to German 40 having a sell off, but any bad numbers here would lead her, not lead her, but would um, the data would suggest otherwise and kind of retract on those or push back on those hawkish tones that Lagarde brought to the table. So I was really hoping for bad numbers. We got bad numbers and I thought there's a good chance now with these numbers out, we could just keep continue pushing north at least, at least to fill these clean candles over here. Um, so... That's it being said, had to wait for London open to open. Price spiked down here and then closed like a bit of a rejection wick. And I was like, damn it, you know, that because that was a little bit too wasn't deep enough for me to execute on the trade. Um I really wanted to come down a little bit lower, but it did look good. It did look good. Um, so just waited. I thought we'll get an opportunity later on. Um, price sort of moved, started drifting higher. Okay, you can see like not, not a whole lot of volatility to begin with as expected when you've got news around the corner or the big boys would be like holding their guns waiting for a little bit more certainty before they can actually put their positions in so first this is the this candle was just the last candle preceding because we're in a three minute chart here mind you this is the last candle before um the french pmi came out and that was bad numbers okay so bad numbers we got a little bit of volatility we'll get more volatility to 8 30 once the german pmi numbers are out uh, if I switch over to the five minute chart, the way I executed on this was like, I saw these two, I saw these two candles here. And I was like, you know, that's, that's my pullback, essentially. That's my pullback. And then this candle was closing nice, strong, bullish above it. I want to trade away from this wick. So I wanted to get my stop loss below this wick. And I wanted to trust that this was the resistance closing above the resistance. Now this becomes your support. Anything that is closing below here would probably be pretty bad for this trade. Um, so I entered impulsively on this one as price pulled back. Okay, price pulled back, dipped into the um into my my buy zone. Pretty big well, the risk reward wasn't great today, and I really don't like getting into the moves so late. Um, but it made sense, you know, it did make sense. So then price pushed up. Okay, you can see that we got to about a total of 15, 16 pips in profit. Um, and this is the candle. This one here is basically um this was, oh, okay, I'm on the five-minute chart again. Let me go back to the three-minute. This move up here was, uh, yeah, this is three minutes candle. This one here is just before um, the German PMI came out. So it was on this guy. It was on this guy that once I'd pushed up and I got up to about 16 pips total profit, but I closed, um, I closed partials at, uh, it was like 10, 12 pips and then moved my stops to break even. 
Didn't want to get tapped out with the news. Didn't want to get slippage. Price came back, unfortunately. Unfortunately, just just tapped me out, which is a bit annoying. Um, stopped my runner. And then price pushed up because we got bad numbers. Um, so second entry then was waiting for the little retest. Price closed nice and bullish again. Um, I was trusting that this was going to be my support still. Um, I still wanted to have my stop loss below this wick. And my target remained the same up here. But this is like little more, a uh, little less than one-to-one -one risk reward. Then we sat through this. So we got nine o'clock. Uh, this candle here was nine o'clock, Eurozone, PMI. Still bad numbers, just really just drifting and drifting and drifting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just just pretty slow. Then it wasn't until it wasn't until price started moving. Yeah, I was I was waiting for nine thirty six to see price start moving because let me go back two days ago. Not not this way, not Thursday, but Wednesday. Not even Wednesday. Uh, yeah, kind of Wednesday, kind of. Um, but Tuesday, Tuesday's the one. But you look at this. This is this is where price just did nothing, just did jack all for so long. And then when did volatility start coming in on these two candles? And that was uh, 9.36, 9.39, 9.42. How far did they run for? They ran for, if I can get my pen working or my ruler working. Come on, man. Okay, ruler doesn't really work. So this ran for about 26, 26 pips. 936 a little bit of volume coming in um i couldn't wait any longer though because i had to go i had to take care of some family things um but i wasn't too worried about this move i just didn't want to just sit here waste my time um anyway so this was this was a 936 candle this one here 939 sort of pulling back only looking for it to go up another like you know 26 pips or so get to my target as soon as we close the stream pretty pretty typical we started seeing that price accelerate away uh, i dropped in the discord saying same now now we're cooking um close full 40 pips pushed up like another eight pips or seven pips or so right into this this little area over here but i was just taking my target there and that was that was all we had and price just kind of just sank, sank off after that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, good day. Pretty pretty happy with today. That was the that was the, that was the stream trade. Uh, there was another one that I did suggest into the uh, Discord. Um, keeping your eyes at four p.m. for Nas, and that was that was when price um, gave a liquidity candle. This guy right here, four p.m. or wait, three, you know, three fifty four. I took this sell here, stop loss above. Um, I was hoping to get 50 pips. I took uh, close 50% at this um, opposing level. Move stops the break even. Unfortunately, the runner got stopped. Gave another liquidity candle right here at 436. Would have been a nice one to have taken. This one here would have had you, would have had you a long way down. So. Anyway, that would have been the high, the high of New York session. Would have been great to have had it all that way. Jeez. Anyway, lovely price action to end the week. And we kind of needed this week. We needed we needed some news to move things because I was sick of the way price was moving before that. Anyway, guys, um, have a great weekend. Hope you get something out of these videos. Um, give it a, you know, let me know in the comments. Drop it a like, give it, give the channel a subscribe. And yeah, all the best. Have a great Christmas. I'll see you guys soon.